Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're going to compare two intense shooter games, Bloodstrike and the upcoming Delta Force. Both are action-packed, both are chaotic, and both have the potential to become the best FPS games out there. But, which one truly deserves your time? In this video, we'll break down every tiny detail to settle this debate once and for all. So grab your snacks, sit tight, and let's see which game comes out on top. Bloodstrike, developed by NetEase Games, came out of nowhere and boom. It became a massive hit, surprising everyone. It's a fast-paced, battle royale-style shooter where players pick strikers with unique abilities, crazy gadgets, and a good mix of chaotic gunfights. It's all about fast reflexes, quick decisions, and, of course, showing off your epic moves. The graphics? They aren't next-gen or super realistic, but hey, they're smooth enough for mobile. And the bright, flashy effects keep the adrenaline pumping. Plus, there's a ton of weapon customization, skins, and different modes to keep you entertained for hours. But what's its biggest strength? It's easy to pick up and play for new players while still offering a challenge for pros. That's why it's so popular. It's like junk food for gamers. You can't stop playing. Now, let's talk about the new contender, Delta Force. This game is reviving a classic franchise, and trust me, it's packing some serious heat. Originally created by Nova Logic, the new Delta Force is being developed by Timmy Studios, the same team behind Call of Duty Mobile. So you already know it's going to have some solid mechanics. Delta Force is bringing that military simulation feel back to gaming. Think intense firefights, realistic environments, and tactical decision making. The game isn't just about mindless shooting, it's about outsmarting your opponent, using vehicles like tanks and helicopters, and making use of the different abilities of each military operator. And get this, it's set in both modern locations and historical battle zones, like the famous Black Hawk Down mission. Yup, you heard that right. You can relive one of the most intense military operations ever, but this time, you are in control. Bloodstrike's graphics are bright and arcade-like. It's designed for players who love fast action and flashy effects. Colors pop, explosions are exaggerated, and the entire vibe feels more fun than realistic. You're not going to get lost in the details here, but that's part of its charm. Delta Force, on the other hand, is gunning for realism. Imagine a game that combines the visuals of Call of Duty with the tactical elements of Battlefield. We're talking about hyper-realistic environments, beautifully rendered vehicles, and intense weather effects that can actually impact gameplay. The single-player campaign is being developed in Unreal Engine 5, which means everything, from the dust particles in a war zone to the reflections on the chopper's glass, looks as real as it gets. Bloodstrike looks more like a comic book come to life, while Delta Force is aiming to look like a gritty war movie. So it really depends on what vibe you're going for. Do you want colorful chaos or intense realism? Here's where things get really spicy. Let's talk about gameplay. Bloodstrike's gameplay is centered around quick reflexes, special abilities, and constant movement. Every match feels like a mini explosion of action. You've got strikers like Emma, Nova, and more, and each one can totally change the way you approach a fight. Plus, with the ability to zip around the map, dodge bullets, and even pull off crazy stunts, the action is non-stop. Delta Force's gameplay is going to be a dream for fans of tactical shooters. Instead of just running around like a headless chicken, like we sometimes do in Blood Strike, You'll need to plan, communicate, and use every tool at your disposal. Vehicles play a major role. There's nothing quite like hopping into a tank and crushing your enemy's defenses. And don't even get me started on the helicopters. Air support? Yes, please. The game's modes are also super unique. There's an extraction-based mode called Hazard Operations, where you have to secure intel and make it out alive, and another mode called Havoc Warfare with ticket-based respawns, which means every life counts. It's a true mix of strategy and skill. Bloodstrike has a huge player base, especially in regions like South America and Asia. 
The community is full of casual gamers, but it's also growing in the competitive scene. The best part? You don't need a super high-end device to run it smoothly, making it accessible for everyone. Delta Force is targeting a more serious audience. The focus on realism, historical missions, and tactical gameplay means it'll attract hardcore military shooter fans. And with the Black Hawk Down campaign being so closely tied to the movie, expect to see history buffs jumping in too. But, it could have a slower start since not everyone has a PC or console powerful enough to handle its intense graphics. Bloodstrike, it's totally free to play, but of course, like every other game out there, there are microtransactions for cosmetics. The good thing? It doesn't feel pay to win. You can grind out most things if you put in the time. Delta Force, the developers have promised no pay to win mechanics. Instead, there's a separate game currency just for cosmetics. But remember, a promise is just a promise until we see it in action. It all boils down to this, are you looking for explosive, fast-paced fun where you can show off crazy skills and enjoy flashy action? Then Bloodstrike is your game. It's perfect for quick matches, casual play, or jumping in with friends for some chaotic fun. Alright, if you guys want to know which game I personally prefer, well, that's a tough call. I mean, I'm absolutely hooked on Bloodstrike, it's got that fast-paced action and adrenaline rush that keeps me coming back for more. But then, on the other hand, I've got this itch for more realistic games too, and Delta Force fits right into that category. So honestly, I can't really pick just one. See, both games have their strengths and weaknesses. When it comes to performance, Bloodstrike definitely has the edge. It's super smooth, no lag, no stuttering, just pure gameplay bliss. But when we talk about visuals, man, Delta Force just crushes it with those next level graphics and realism. Bloodstrike doesn't even come close in that department. So, if you ask me, both games are worth trying out because it really depends on what you're in the mood for. You want high-speed action and smooth gameplay? Go for Bloodstrike. Want stunning visuals and a more realistic feel? Delta Force is your pick. Both are great, and it's impossible to call one better than the other overall. Just keep in mind that it's still an early access, so things could change. So what do you guys think? Are you Team Bloodstrike or Team Delta Force? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and hey, let's get a bit of a war going in there. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe for more epic game battles like this one. Until next time, peace out.